Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Meghan Markle has told her inner circle of friends she is planning to give her first interview to Ellen DeGeneres after the two have become close, insiders exclusively told LMT channel. Ellen and Meghan have already discussed a sit-down interview. That's been in the works for quite some time now, says a source at the Ellen Show confirmed. The two met by chance years ago at a dog shelter in Los Angeles, where Ellen encouraged Meghan to adopt her first dog, Bogart, and the women have stayed in touch. Ellen and her wife, Portia, D. Rossi even took a trip to London to visit Prince Harry and Meghan after the birth of Archie over the summer, remarking on her talk show, I see them get attacked and it's not fair. They are two of the most down, to earth compassionate people, they're doing so much good for the world. Zzz. It's because of their friendship that Meghan wants to give Ellen her first interview, as a friend told LMT Channel. Meghan said Ellen understands her pain and suffering, that she epitomizes authenticity. Meghan feels like they are kindred spirits. The spokesperson for Ellen did not return LMT Channel's request for comment. Ellen getting the first shot at an in-depth interview is surely going to put Oprah's and Dale King's nose out of joint, is a source added to LMT Channel. After all, Oprah wooed Meghan's mother by having her spend the day in Montecito, wrangled an invite to the wedding, and has been pretty vocal in her support of the couple's decision to break away, as the source said. But Ellen hinted at how close they were back in November, revealing she had invited a pair of dancers onto her show after Meghan sent her a text about the great duo. She also said that while spending time with Meghan and Harry in London, they talked about their work on wildlife conservation, something both couples share a passion for. The insider added, Meghan adores Ellen and loves the fact that she and Portia are huge animal lovers. She said they have stayed in touch since meeting in person and have become close. She said they actually have a lot in common and that Ellen has been a huge support, especially since moving to Canada. A source of The Ellen Show told LMT Channel, the interview will be all hush, hush and most likely at a secret location, because the studio poses too many challenges. They added, Ellen has a way of making things happen. Plus Ellen has made it clear to her staffers that Meghan is one of the nicest, most real people she's ever met, and that Harry is just the same. She would want to sit down with the both of them together. She wants her fans to see what she already knows to be true. I wouldn't be surprised if they forge even more of a friendship now that Meghan is in North America. Meghan may also sit down with Oprah, who attended her May 2018 wedding, or Gail King, who went to Meghan's baby shower, the source said. But Meghan wants to talk to Ellen first. In other news, Oprah says she's 100% in support of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's exit from royal life because she knows it was not an impulsive decision, no matter what the British media says. Oprah spoke out Tuesday night in NYC, telling Adam Glynn she has no issue with the Duke and Duchess stepping back and forging their own path, and more than that said everyone should respect it. She says Harry and even Queen Elizabeth herself made it clear he and his wife had been thinking about this for a long time. Oh, who young daughter remember is in business with Harry, says his move wasn't made lightly either. Peach noted that last weekend during his speech. You've gotta see how Oprah frames her staunch defense of Mexit. She says when someone chooses what they believe is best for them, who are we, the public? To criticize that, her pal Gail King was there too and says nobody in the royal family was blindsided. As we've reported, Prince Harry and Oprah are co-producing a mental health series for Apple TV. So we expected her to back him, but her explanation for why might influence other opinions. 
It's Tinder what Oprah does. Uh, let's talk about it. So you guys did the game. Can we get Lisa Warren? <laughs> yeah, yeah let's do it. How are you feeling with Meghan Markle and Harry uh, and Prince Harry? You know, I support them one thousand percent. You know why I support them? I su you know I support them because I believe that when you have thought about this as long as they have, and even in the Queen's statement, everyone take note where the Queen says this has been going on for months. These discussions have been going on for months. So when you've thought about it for months. And what Harry said in that uh, charity statement the other day, Sittendale or Semental, whatever it was, uh, where he made that Sintabale, uh, that, you know, the last line of his statement where he said that he had to make the decision to back away from his family in, even, in order to move forward in peace with his new family. I mean, I don't know how they came up with those words, but who doesn't feel that? Who doesn't feel what that takes to make that decision, to give up everything you've known in your whole life, to say, I'm going to choose this new life for what I believe to be the truest truest vision for myself. So I, 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 who, who, are, who are any of us to stand in judgment of that? That's what I think about that. Is it inspiring his story to seem kind of step up and kind I, of... I won't even say inspiring. I'm saying he did what he needed to do for his family. And that's all I will say about that. And I don't think anybody else has anything any right to say anything. When a person has sat and thought about what is the best decision I'm going to make for my family, and then he makes that decision, none of us have any right to say anything about that. That's his decision for his family. But they didn't make the decision in a vacuum. There were a lot of conversations. That's why I thought it was very unfair to say that the Queen was blindsided. Yeah. Even the Queen's own statement said these conversations have, have been, been going, going on, on for, for months. Yeah. So, so that, that whole that, media story yeah. about they were blindsided. And the Queen that treated the, shoddily. Yeah, that, 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 that's just that's not, not, not true. Because everybody's known for months that this was happening. Yeah. Hello, there you got both several, of us. I know. There been some, yeah, there have been several discussions. Yeah, several discussions about Another report. It's a big step for Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, to leave their life as royals behind as Harry shared their decision was not made lightly. The couple felt they had no other option for a peaceful life, but will they regret their decision? One royal expert shares why the couple may find the grass isn't greener on the other side. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are giving up the royal life. After intense media and public scrutiny and the emotional interviews they gave for their documentary, it shouldn't have been so surprising that Prince Harry and Meghan would announce they wanted to exit the royal family. Queen Elizabeth worked to iron out the specifics and shared her support of their decision in a statement that noted, following many months of conversations and more recent discussions, I am pleased that together we have found a constructive and supportive way forward for my grandson and his family. She continued, Harry, Meghan and Archie will always be much loved members of my family. I recognize the challenges they have experienced as a result of intense scrutiny over the last two years and support their wish for a more independent life. It is my whole family's hope that today's agreement allows them to start building a happy and peaceful new life. The Sussexes felt there was no other option. The couple are giving up their HRH titles and any public funding as they transition to a life in Canada, a decision Prince Harry called their only option. During a speech he gave at a London charity dinner, Prince Harry shared, It brings me great sadness that it has come to this. The decision that I have made for my wife and I to step back is not one I made lightly. It was so many months of talks after so many years of challenges. He added, and I know I haven't always gotten it right, but as far as this goes, there really was no other option. Will they regret the decision? They've given up their royal duties and Prince Harry had to give up his military titles, plus they'll be repaying the taxpayer money used to refurbish their frog or cottage home. There were sacrifices made, but they will keep their own private patronages and associations. One royal commentator believes that Prince Harry may come to miss the old life he had. Richard Fitzwilliams told LMT Channel, although the agreement will be reviewed in a year's time, the Sussexes have, in reality, 
been exiled. He continued, They are, however, among the most famous couples in the world, and as we are already seeing, an intrusive media cannot have enough of them. He shared, Independence has its price. They may have a meteoric rise with top Hollywood celebrities to back them, but they will always be followed by the press. Meghan may be in her element. Harry may prove totally adaptable, but he also could miss what he has given up. Fitzwilliams further claimed that Prince Harry's loss of his military links will deeply upset Harry. The expert noted, since he can no longer wear uniform, this is something he will. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry's situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.